No, this is a, a fantastic opportunity to recognize the, um, the service and the sacrifice of so many men and women who, um, uh, who, who've given everything uh, for, the, for this country. Uh, 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 for over 100 years uh, uh, since we first celebrated Armistice Day and, and, and certainly uh, the 100 years that uh, Columbia's had Fort Jackson here in our midst, we've had a very special relationship uh, with um, the men and women who, who, who provide the very blanket of protection that we all sleep under. So uh, we're, we're thankful. Uh, this is obviously uh, not the way we usually celebrate. celebrate. We have one of the most fantastic Veterans Day parades in the entire country. Uh, the pandemic has changed that, but has not changed our commitment to making sure that we honor these men and women. Um, so we're looking forward to 2021. Uh, but in the meantime, every one of the 365 days in between, we want to make sure that the men and women of the armed forces, uh, their families, uh, and those who continue to serve understand that uh, Columbia is their home and we love them here. The, the importance of speaking on Veterans Day is to, to let our veterans know, those that have served our great nation, regardless of service, thank them for not only their service, but their sacrifices. The many things that they've had to endure in the defense of our nation can never be underestimated, and we always have to make a, a mindful effort to thank them for those sacrifices that they've made for our freedoms. So it's always important to come together every year at a minimum on the 11th of November to celebrate veterans, our past, present, and, and future veterans. Those who have chosen to serve, you know, support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, these are special people. It's a very small part of our population, you know, maybe small in number, but, but mighty in effect. And so what I would offer is we need to always recommit ourselves, not just on Veterans Day, but every day to support our veterans, those who have given everything on behalf of the nation. I'd like to also, though, change the narrative a little bit and remind everybody that not do we, do we need to support veterans, but think about what those veterans can do for us, for Columbia, for South Carolina, for the nation. You know, we're a group of people who know how to do a lot of things. We bring great skills and great devotions and great talents. And here's an opportunity for our veterans to really get back in society and be future leaders. You know, mayors, elected officials, appointed officials, civic leaders, you know, leaders in your church or faith-based organization, but just out there in businesses. We're, we're good people, we work hard, we're disciplined, we're well-educated, we're trained, and we know how to solve complex problems. So if, if you're one of those people looking for somebody to come propel your organization forward, go find a veteran. He or she can really take that to the next level for you.